Hey guys, Cassandra here with ProsperousHeart.com and ProsperityGamer.com. Now at the time of this recording, ProsperityGamer.com is not quite up yet, but keep an eye out because it's coming, my friends. So, on to business. Ugh, I'm so excited because in the mail, I got dun, 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 my Loot Crate box. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. They've, they've, been, they've been really good lately. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and open this, right, shall we? I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. So um, anyway, the t -t -t oh, okay. So this was the very first thing I see when I open up my box. First of all, I love that Loot Crate does this. They actually have it so that you can turn their boxes inside out and do some really nifty stuff with it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! So um, first thing that I noticed that I'm super excited about right now, if you can't tell. Is this Pikachu head cap? Oh my goodness! It's um, uh, it just goes over your head like this. Yep. Oh my gosh! This is awesome. Okay. So yeah. So totally digging my Pikachu cap. Thanks. Thanks, Loot Crate. Totally, totally excited about this. Um. So awesome. So oh yeah. So this is the uh, summons Loot Crate. Uh, that's why there's Pikachu in it, so I'm so stoked about that. But um, they have this as the badge. Oh, what? I might have to sort of shop that in. So that's the badge. And uh, next item I'm pulling out here is an item from Blizzard. Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. So actually, that's this is this is cool. So. Um, this, this time it's got a blizzard item and it's a hearthstone. So if you're a wild WoW player, you'll recognize this. Um, and it's a stress ball. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I, I actually do like having stress balls around because sometimes you just get so frustrated and if you don't sweep the life out of that stress ball, you might sweep the life out of something else. Am I right? So yeah. Anyway, so this stress ball is super cool. It reminds me of my gamer stuff and so the lighting actually isn't that good so my bad guys but um eight, maybe no wait ah! so anyway it, it actually looks like it the it, the coloring is just off so whatever <laughs> um so the next thing they have is a oh i kind of wonder if nerd block and loot crate are in cahoots because this is a supernatural replica this is totally mine supernatural replica of the 1967 chevrolet impala look at i mean that's just that's just super cool and wow it's a recreation as she existed when dean convinced john to buy her in 1973 with the complete period correct kansas license plate no way. Oh man, this is awesome. This is truly a collectible. I, I think that's that's freaking amazing. Alright, so next item in here. What is this? So it looks kinda like a Chinese takeout box with Homer Simpson on the box. You buy. Very lucky. So I guess it's a lucky Homer Simpson. Why don't we just take a pizza and see, huh? Oh, oh, there's no easy way to open this without actually opening the box. Um, so it's collectible art. Man. Man. Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna open this. Cause, yeah. Really? So. They even wrap this up too. Oh my gosh, give me a second. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's almost too cute for words. So, <laughs> oh, I think it's broken. Dang, it is broken. So, the, uh, no, it's not. Hold on. Okay, so after further inspection, he's not broken. But this thing, oh my gosh, this is so, <laughs> so it's like a golden statue of Buddha, but it's not Buddha, it's Homer Simpson. 
and he's just so zen like and oh man that's terrible <laughs> yeah don't ever buy this nail polish if you guys do nail polish i i love the company elf eyes lips face i love the company but I, their nail polish is terrible the ones that i've tried so maybe they work for you maybe i just suck at polishing my nails i don't know but um i I've never do well with elf nail polish. Anyway, so back to this. So it's like he's little he's riding a little donut. Let me see if I can get that in the light for you. So yeah, it's kinda cool and I thought I was broken because these little pieces actually came off, but no, it's totally fine. So yep, that's there that's that. And uh they also provided this thing here. So, um, along with that super cool stress hearthstone ball thing, they also are giving us this, uh, hearthstone collectible coin and card pack code. So basically this was originally offered as a BlizzCon 2014 exclusive, but apparently Loot Crate was able to talk them into get getting more. <laughs> and it also includes DLC or downloadable, downloadable content. Yeah, downloadable content. For exclusive digital game cards as well. So on the back, oh, I guess I can't show that to you because, oh yeah, no, I totally can. So it's totally Blizzard related and all that stuff. And obviously I'm not going to scratch that off and share because whoever this is going to uh, would not appreciate that. So nifty. And then, so um, they also have a couple of last uh, last minute items in there, um, like. In, in every in every loot crate, they have a booklet that talk, tells you about what they did, you know, what what's in there, what they all mean, the mega crates of the month. Um, but this one was actually really cool because it uh, it says, "What fortune will you summon?" And it has these six little cards you can take out. But it's part of one of the games they created, um, and you can play it. And obviously, I just got it, so I have no idea what it is. And then uh, they also talk about this game, Master Summoner, that they created a mobile game. So really nifty loot crate. I think this is awesome. Super swell. Um, personally, four, four and a half out of five. Uh, I really did like this box. I thought it was awesome. Uh, and uh, like, honestly, I think my favorite might be the squishy <laughs> Hearthstone. Because, I mean, come on. So um, last but not least, give me a second and I shall reassemble my box. Giggity. And we're back. So when you originally see the box, it was black. Plain black. It has loot crate on it. It's got your address, whatever. But when you flip it inside out, it changes. So on the bottom of this box, it looks like the different characters of the game that they that they have. Um, it's got like a lock box where it actually opens up, right? And then here's the top. And it's fairly plain on the outsides, but here it says summon. The, game, the Art of Conjuring Loot, and I think that might be what their, their game is called. But uh, you open it up, and on the outside of the original box, it said, This crate is our most unique and interactive one yet. So go to lootcrate.com slash summonbook for instructions on how to see all the magic. So pretty nifty. Uh, I'm actually interested in finding out what that does. So I, I'm going to have to go check that out. But yeah, so really nifty. Uh, I'd give it a five now because the box is really cool and they made it interactive. And I mean, seriously, who does that? Loot Crate does. So if you're interested in getting your own Loot Crate, go ahead and if you're watching this on my Facebook or my YouTube, go on down to the uh, description box. Yeah, somewhere up, down, I don't know. And uh, if you're on my blog, it'll be somewhere on my blog page. <laughs> but uh, go ahead and click on that link and get your own Loot Crate just like me where you can get cool hats like this. Oh my gosh. Like seriously, I'm having a little fangirl moment just so much. I've always, I've actually always wanted one of these. I will just be super, super honest. It keeps your ears warm. It's cute. It's Pikachu. So yeah. So anyway, that's it for me for now. This is Cassandra with ProsperousHeart.com and ProsperityGamer.com. I hope you guys have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day.